First on Fox, a former chemistry grad student once awarded for his college work now faces charges of operating a meth lab on campus. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes shows you how police say they broke up a real life breaking bad. Madison County court records say an SIUE professor saw something suspicious in the Science West building this past Thanksgiving break and that spectrometer testing discovered alleged byproducts of meth making. SIUE's police force investigated. Here's Chief David Goodwin. And this was somewhat of a routine call when it originally came in, but a lot of our staff uh, teamed up, uh, did a lot of background, and then were able to kind of get it to the point where there was an arrest made in the end. So really a, a, a team approach. A probable cause statement says SIUE police confirmed that the only person to make electronic access to the Science West building between 1122-23 and 1127-23 and had a key to room 3000 besides the reporting professor was Jeremy Smalling. 45-year-old Smalling was a graduate research assistant at the time. He's listed as winning the 2018 award for physical chemistry at the university. SIUE police report checking the National NPLEX database that tracks pseudoephedrine purchases. Investigators note Smalling is listed as attempting 365 pseudoephedrine purchases in the last 10 years and was blocked from purchases 45 times. Illinois law flags purchases that exceed a 30-day supply in a one-month period. Police got a judge to sign off on a search warrant to put a GPS tracker on the defendant's car reportedly parked here at his apartment complex on Puma Boulevard. SIUE police brought in the regional drug task force known as MEGZI. And our agent on the MEGZI really picked it up and ran with it. So really it's a collaborative effort. Investigators monitored Smalling making alleged meth-making purchases in neighboring cities, like here in Glen Carbon at Walmart and Walgreens. Court records indicate six investigators tracked the suspect. On January 10th, those investigators said they watched the suspect enter his apartment with suspected meth-making materials, and they noted that his bedroom window was open, even though the temperature was 36 degrees at the time. Smalling is now charged by the Madison County State's Attorney with four felony counts, including aggravated participation in meth making and possession with the intent to deliver. Citizens like Rosemary Staten are in disbelief. Listen, especially for a grad student, they have so much to, to um, you know, so much to live for and so much to do with their life, except for doing something that stupid yeah. right on campus where you know you're going to get caught. You should have known you're going to get caught. A spokesperson for the university added in a statement, SIUE is aware of an ongoing law enforcement investigation concerning an individual who was previously enrolled as an SIUE student. The individual does not have access to campus. SIUE PD will continue to partner with Madison County authorities and other law enforcement agencies to ensure the safety of our campus community. Court records indicate the suspect also had three student roommates living with him during the arrest, all who were evacuated and relocated. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.